and welcome back to our channel. I'm Anne from the Sussex Handmade Soap Company and today you are getting bath bombs. Uh, I think I did promise you soap for today but time has run away with us again this week and I didn't have time to actually get the soap video. I was going to say finished, let's be honest it's not even been started. So bath bombs, yay! Um, I'm going to be showing you our bath bomb making from start right through to finish where we package them up ready for being sold at our shows um, and we will actually be selling these ones this weekend the 11th, 12th and 13th of June because we are down at the South of England show in Ardingly in West Sussex so hopefully it's going to be a good weekend, it's going to be a hot weekend so that should hopefully bring everyone out and I think there's even still tickets left for Sunday so if you're in the area and fancy a day trip out come and find us there. We are slap bang in between the fun fair and horse village. Horse village. When we arrived today to set up because we've already been down to set up I thought it said Norse village and I got quite excited because I was envisaging Chris Hemsworth wandering around hopefully topless because it's hot just with his big Thor hammer but then I realised I'd misread it and it said horse village. So I like horses, but May. not as much as I like Chris Hemsworth. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. Um, it will be a voiceover because when I make bath bombs, we have the dehumidifier running, which makes a lot of noise. So it will be a voiceover with me telling you what we are doing as we are doing it. And our recipe can be viewed in the description box. However, um, our recipe may not work for you depending on whereabouts you are and what your conditions are like. That's just the recipe that works for us. Um, you may well need to tweak it if you have different conditions to us. Right, let's get on to the bath bombs. So we're actually making a three colour bath bomb today. So I've weighed out all of my ingredients times by three, including the water soluble dyes, which I've already dispersed in water. We have got blue, sky blue and green dyes today. I'm actually only gonna be showing you me making up one of the mixes because I did film all three and it got very boring very quickly. So I'm showing you me making the sky blue mix. So this is our bicarbonate of soda and our cream of tartar and I'm just adding in the water now which has been mixed with the sky blue water soluble dye. Once I have tipped all the water in I begin mixing and I have definitely discovered that mixing is absolutely the key to a good bath bomb. Uh, so many people say it and it really is a key factor so I'm really just kind of scrunching it with my hands and really working it to make sure that I have got it all incorporated really really well. After incorporating the water, I am adding in the grapeseed oil and that has been mixed with the emerald agave fragrance oil from Brambleberry. A really lovely, fresh, light fragrance and it's popular with both men and women. It's a very kind of unisex fragrance. And then we are back to some more mixing. So I'm just working my hands in, kind of scrunching it, running it through my fingertips and just kind of making sure it's all thoroughly mixed in. So I'm going in with our SCI powder now and this is what creates the bubbles in our bath bombs. It is our surfactant of choice. It is a very fine powder so I am wearing a mask just to protect my throat and my lungs and I'm now mixing it in really thoroughly. Bath bomb making is a little bit like the exact opposite to pastry making. Making pastry you want a nice light touch, you want your palms to stay clean. Bath bomb making, get your hands in there, scrunch it up really well. If your hands are clean after you've been making bath bombs then you have not mixed thoroughly enough. To be honest I think I perhaps slightly under mixed our mix today but it still came out okay just perhaps not quite as smooth as I would have liked. Finally going in with the citric acid and again we are going to mix this in really, really well. And once it has been mixed in thoroughly I'm going to bring back in our other two colours. So we've now got our apple green and our kind of regular blue as opposed to the sky blue which you've seen me making and I have placed our mould 
onto the scales and the reason for that is that I know if I weigh out between 165 and 170 grams of bath bomb mix that generally gives me a bath bomb that works well. It is packed tightly enough to not fall apart but it is also light enough to still float which is what I go for. So that is why I aim for between 165 and 170 grams of mix and that is why I always weigh my mix. To fill the mould I'm just alternating the different colours, so the green, then the sky blue, then the regular blue, and I'm just building it up very lightly, I'm not pressing down hard, I'm not compacting it, I'm just lightly filling the mould until I see it has reached the magical 165 to 170 gram weight. And I know you can't see or tell just from watching this video, but it's super hot in the room I'm working in today. Uh, the temperature has skyrocketed, the dehumidifier is running, and it's actually over 30 degrees centigrade where I'm making these bath bombs, which is obviously playing a little bit of havoc with my mix, but they did come out all right. So not quite as smooth as I had hoped, but still perfectly usable. And I know in a minute it's going to look like I've got some activation on the bomb, but I can assure you that is just what the camera is picking up. And in real life, they are not activated and they're just slightly less smooth than I'd hoped for, but otherwise all good. The final touch is to spritz the bombs with a little rubbing alcohol and I find that this just helps them to be not quite as powdery as they may otherwise be and it gives us a lovely kind of smooth feeling bomb. Now we dry for 48 hours. So after drying for 48 hours the bath bombs are nice and firm and ready for packaging. So the first thing I have done is actually printed out the labels that we are going to wrap around these bath bombs. So I've just printed out onto card our bath bomb labels. Uh, with all our other products, we actually get our labels printed for us, but with our bath bombs, we actually print them ourselves, which is nice because it means I can then kind of print on the best before date and the batch number rather than having to add them on by hand afterwards. So one sheet of bath bomb labels printed out onto a thin card. Now I'm going to chop them up, ready for attaching to each bomb. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut my labels out using a Stanley knife and a ruler. I've already chopped the excess of the labels and I now just need to slice them up into individual labels for our bath bombs. So I am just kind of carefully lining up the ruler and then again carefully dragging the Stanley knife down and through and it is as easy as that. I say it's easy, when you're kind of doing hundreds at a time, like I did a couple of weeks ago, it gets a little bit time consuming and a little bit boring. But luckily today, I only have to do 10. Though to be honest, we have been working our backsides off all day, setting up for this show we are at tomorrow and getting the last bits and pieces ready. So right now, even doing 10 feels like a little bit of a chore. Never mind. We are nearly there. The end is nearly in sight and my tea is nearly ready for eating. Bath bomb labels complete. We now need to actually shrink wrap our bath bombs, which we do with our Biolafin biodegradable film. It is just out of shot at the minute, but I'm pulling it out now. And all I'm going to do is take the bath bombs and pop them into the film one by one. We are only wrapping nine today. The tenth one that I thought we had was actually my spare leftover one that I did with the leftover bath bomb mix. So that is for my bath because it is not quite heavy enough to be able to sell. So nine bath bombs going in to the biolefin today. We are now taking the heat wand and I'm just gonna press down. Ooh. And pull away. And now again, I'm using the heat wand to just kind of seal them into the individual little packets. And 
Now that we have sealed them all into their individual packages, we are just going to use the heat gun to shrink them. On the low setting. So now all the bath bombs have been wrapped with one layer of the shrink film, we are going to attach the labels. And the way that I do that is to take a little glue dot and just stick it to the underside of the label. Then I grab a bath bomb, go round the satin ring, and this is kind of fiddly, and then press to fix and that is a one labelled. Now we just need to do the other eight. So now it is back to what we have just done and we are going to be wrapping the bath bombs again. And the reason we actually give them two layers of the shrink film is that this shrink film is very thin and fairly often we do get kind of little um, holes and marks in it and we just feel that giving them a second layer just gives them that little added extra bit of protection because I am really conscious of wanting to protect these against humidity because so many of our shows are outside and we don't want any humidity worries or things like that that could potentially damage the bath bomb. So that is why we shrink wrap twice. Back to our wand. And I'm pressing it down to seal and then just pulling away. And now again to cut them or chop them into individual little pouches. And finish them off by shrinking them with the low setting on the heat gun. There we go. All finished. So, Emerald Agave bath bombs are wrapped and ready. These will be coming with us to the show tomorrow and hopefully over the course of the weekend we will sell them and hopefully, if we're lucky, we may even sell out. Fingers crossed on that one. If you would like one of these but can't make it to the show because you live hundreds of miles away or are just busy, then all of our products can also be bought online through our website just here. And if you use our YouTube discount code, then you can also get 20% off. If you enjoy our content, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment. We will be back on Tuesday with another video. And until then, have a lovely weekend. It looks like it's going to be glorious weather. So uh, get out there and have some fun and we shall see you next week. Bye.